The energy says power should be back on for almost everyone affected by Friday's snowstorm. Brett Lemoyne explains why the aftermath continues to linger in homes and on the roads. Brookfield homeowner Tom Shower spent all weekend trying to stay warm. It got down to 34 degrees in our house. He's one of 260,000 We Energy's customers knocked off the grid during Friday's snowstorm. Showers got power back Monday afternoon after a pipe burst and two nights in a hotel. I've probably spent close to $2,000 just between the generator and we bought space heaters. Crews were still trying to help his neighbors Tuesday morning. We Energy spokesman Brendan Conway says this was one of the largest restaurants efforts in the utilities history. 8, 10, 12 inches of heavy, wet, thick snow that coated our power lines, our equipment, trees and branches. Add that with the gusty winds we've seen over the last few days, and that's what's been causing all these outages. Conway says crews came from other parts of the state and as far away as Indiana and Ohio to help. While the lights are coming back on, the ice isn't leaving. Waukesha County says that's been their biggest challenge in keeping the roads clear. Their crews have been working 16 hours shifts for the last week. Once that wet snow uh, adheres to the road and, and we can't get it off with our plows, uh, it just continues to build up. Snowplow operators are mixing sand with salt to try and keep cars from sliding. There's hope rising temperatures into the teens later this week will provide some relief. It's been a bit of a nightmare the last few days. In Brookfield, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. We Energy says it's restored power to 98% of its customers within the first 72 hours of the storm. And as our temperatures continue to edge up slowly but surely, you can count on Fox 6 Storm Center to keep you aware. Just get our app and you can customize the main map to show live radar or wind speed. And always you'll have access to the Fox 6 weather webcast.